Our story begins in the realm of Greyhaven. I lived a decent life, delivering goods to shops and taverns. It was pleasant and peaceful. However, sometimes it left me wondering what adventures were beyond and if there was more to see. Until one day, chaos swept over the city. Pillagers came in and attacked, leaving many of us no choice but to flee. An unlikely group of us found each other and traveled through unknown lands looking for safety. Until one day, we stumbled upon a peculiar book on top of a mountain. In the realm of Dragon Kings, power from Elytra wings, mortal bloodlines will be destroyed, dragon's blood from in the void. What does this mean? That's weird. That's really weird. Yeah, I don't know about that. There's nothing else? Is that, is that the whole thing? That was it. There's one page. Kind of ominous. Yeah, I can see purple particles coming from that as well. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. That's just weird. I mean, it's kind of interesting. Maybe we should stay here for a while. I'm kind of tired anyway. I'm done to stay. Me too. Yeah. Should, we, should we set up camp nearby? I think yeah. so. Really? Sounds like a good idea. Tired and worn out, we all decided it was best for us to set up shelter. And although the mysterious book lays perched atop the mountain, we decided to take our chances in this new and unknown land. This is Bloodlines. All right, it looks like we're gonna be here a while, so I think I should start gathering some things for basic survival. Let's get ourselves a crafting table going so we can make some tools to help us gather the things that we need. I'm going to start tearing down some of these trees and make a spot to keep some of my stuff. And this wood will also be good to build with. Now I need a source of food right now, but I don't know much about animals or farming. I did, however, notice there's tons of fish in the ocean nearby, so I'm going to grab a bunch of that. There's also these berry bushes around this forest, and they look good enough to me, so I'm going to risk it. Besides that weirdly ominous book, this place seems pretty safe for us all to set up camp. There also seems to be a pretty good amount of food and resources around here, so we should have everything we need to survive. I'm honestly so glad we all found each other while fleeing Greyhaven. I may not know these people too well, but they seem trustworthy and it makes me feel good knowing we can all help each other out. I don't know how well I would have survived out here on my own if I'm honest. I don't really have all of the necessary skills for survival. I only have a decent sense of direction and that's about it. It can only take me so far. I'm not gonna lie though, that book that we found kind of scared me. I don't do too well with spooky stories and fables, so I'm probably gonna be having nightmares about it while I sleep tonight. I'm a big baby. So we've all been living out here for the past few days, and things have been going okay so far but I think I need some better shelter and a place to store my things. So I think I'm gonna set up a small tent to get myself going. That way I can pick it all up easily if I decide to go exploring. It's a good thing I gathered all that spruce the other day because I have lots of it to build with now. And I also got some of this wool from Froggy that I can use for the sides of the tent. Let's fill in the gaps here with some more spruce. And we'll fill in the roof of the tent because we don't want rain getting in. Now let's add a little bit of support to this thing. We definitely wouldn't want this blowing away in the wind. And we've got ourselves some shelter. This is the perfect space to spread out all of my belongings. Which is nothing. But at least I have a nice cozy bed to rest in for now. All of the others have started setting up their own shelters as well. And we've been sharing resources with each other. Frog gave me some wool for my shelter. And Brooke's been farming away and generously gave me some food. Honestly, I don't really have any valuable skills like the others. I just like to explore and I have a pretty decent sense of direction. Maybe I can help the folks here find some resources from far away that may benefit us though. I think I'm gonna go check out the surrounding area and scout things out and report back to the others. But I did hear Block talking about how he has fighting skills. So I called him over to see if he would be interested in traveling with me to help keep me safe. Oh, hey neighbor. Oh, hey Blocky, what's up? I've got some good news. I've, uh... I've been down in the caves clearing out all the mobs, trying to make this place a little bit safe, and uh, I've actually got a decent area all cleared out now. No mobs? No mobs, yeah. Cleared a bunch out, um, definitely didn't die. Turns out I'm actually pretty good at uh, fighting mobs. Well, that's great to hear, Block, because I've been thinking. I really love the area that we're in. However, what if there's some other stuff beyond this place? I've kind of been wanting to travel around a bit to see what's here, but I've been a little bit too afraid to travel on my own at first. So you're kind of looking for a partner? Yeah, 
Yeah. I got a nice sword. Wow. Pretty sharp, eh? It is. Do you have an extra one? Because I only have this. Ooh, is that stone? Yeah. I got you, buddy. Take all this. <gasps> Thank you. I can make some new armor, too. So Block and I geared up and head out on an adventure together to see what was beyond our area. We traveled across oceans and through mountains, and we discovered so many things that neither of us had seen before. And then we came across something so spectacular that we both had to stop and explore. These blocks are so vibrant and beautiful. I bet the others at the village would love to build with this stuff. I'm gonna grab as much as I can and bring it back to them. I think I'm also gonna map the route out in case anybody wants to come visit this place sometime as well. This adventure has gone great so far. Maybe I will have a purpose amongst the group after all. I can picture it now what they're all going to say when we get back. Drift and Block. The two greatest adventurers to ever exist. Alright, we're back from our adventure with all the stuff we gathered for everyone. When we got back, Block asked me how he did with protecting me on the adventure. He was so enthusiastic and excited, and I felt kind of bad, so I lied and said he did great. But, in all honesty, he was pretty terrible. Maybe he just needs some practice though. So now that we have all these blocks that we found on our adventure, I think I should set up a spot so the others in the village can see them and take what they need. I'm thinking a cart to store all of our goods will be perfect. Just like the tent, we'll be able to bring it along on our adventures and carry stuff back for us. We'll place some barrels to keep the items in and we'll place some decorative blocks to show what's in the barrels. Next, we need a seating area for the cart because this one's gonna be traveling and maybe some stairs with a gate so people can access the wagon. A couple more decorations couldn't hurt. And finally, let's place a sign so we can let people know that they're more than welcome to take whatever they need from this cart. There, hopefully some of these things come in handy for the others in the village. I know I'm gonna use some of that terracotta right now on my tent. Ooh, yeah, that's looking so good. You know, I feel like this place is slowly starting to feel like home. But I'm also keen to get back out there and explore to see if there's anything else I can find for the village. I think this time I'm going to go alone though. I'll just tell Block that I'm in the forest gathering berries or something, so I don't hurt his feelings. Before we head out though, I'm going to build a smoker to preserve some fish. Although Brooke is so nice to give me some of her vegetables, I've also kind of grown to like the fish in this area. I don't know, they're good. Alright, I think it's time that we get going on our next adventure. What was that? Does somebody need help? <gasps> we should go before he realizes. And with that, we're on another expedition to find more cool blocks. My feet kind of hurt. I need to get some better shoes. So I've been traveling for quite a while and I came across this really cool looking structure. It looks like a broken ship or something. <gasps> There's a chest in here. What's this? A buried treasure map? <gasps> we have to check this out. Let's see, where are you taking me? The map said it was in the water around here, so I think I'm getting close. I'm now very determined to find this. <gasps> That's gotta be it. Ooh, let's check it out. Whoa, there's diamonds and gold in here and some iron. But I don't recognize some of this other stuff. Like what are these bottles? I wonder if anybody back in the village can figure out what some of these things are. All right, we found some really cool stuff around here, but let's keep exploring to see what else we can find. Ooh, this forest is really dense and it looks kind of spooky. I can't say that I've ever seen mushrooms this big before in my life. I don't think we have anything like this near our village, so I'm gonna grab some of these saplings to bring home. I'm sure the others will find some form of use for this wood, especially with building. It's really nice. Okay, I decided to boat further down the river to see what was around and I found these huge trees. Whoa, I've honestly never seen anything like this before. Breaking these are so satisfying. Ooh, what is this? This looks really delicious and I'm getting pretty hungry, so I hope it's edible. I'm gonna grab a bunch of this to take back with me to give to Brooke. Maybe if this stuff is good, she can keep growing it for us. I should probably collect some of this wood and its saplings as well. I'm so excited to bring all of this back to the village to show the others. <gasps> There's more stuff over there. You know we gotta go check that out. Ooh, what are these? Beans? I may not know what half this stuff is, but I'm sure someone at home will find a purpose for it. <gasps> what are these birds? I've never seen any like this before. They're so pretty. We have to become friends with them. Here, take these seeds. 
Yes, look at that. Best buds for life. My best friend back at Greyhaven was actually a pigeon. So I think I'm pretty good at making friends with birds. All right, it looks like I've got a bunch of stuff to bring back to the village for the others. And I've got these awesome bird friends now. So I say we head home. All right, so we're back at our base with the others and I have a mountain of items from that journey. I honestly have so much that I think I'm gonna build a stall beside the wagon to spread things out a little bit. That way it's a little bit easier for people to see all the items that I have and take what they need from it. And to let people know about some of the stuff that I've found, I left signs outside their houses the other night. So I think some will be on their way over here shortly to check things out. Speaking of which, I think some people are on their way over right now. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? going good yeah i just got your message by my house you needed to see oh yes yes i wanted to show you both something come this way so as you know i've been exploring lately and i've come across some really interesting terrain that have many different blocks there take a look inside that chest oh terracotta so this is of interest to you both absolutely i'm gonna need a lot more okay okay well, you're both more than welcome to take whatever's in this chest. However, if you do need more, I do have the directions. Oh, yes, please. Here, take this book. If you wish to discover the colorful valley head east towards the rising sun, the tropical woodlands head south towards the ocean. Oh, colorful valley. Okay. Yeah, I'm down for a trip. Don't be fooled by the name, though. As beautiful as it is, it's definitely dangerous. So you both really need to be careful while you're there. Yeah, I've just been digging a floor of iron, so that's just in time. Excellent. Well, if you're both going to head off in that direction, I wish you both well. And let me know how it goes. Will do. Thank you, Drift. Thank you. All right, now that Stobbles and Seb have their directions, let's start making a stall for the new items that we found. I sure hope they don't run into trouble like Block and I did in that mountainous land of terracotta. So I'm using all the blocks that I found for my latest journey to make this stall. And I really love how they look. Now let's just put down some barrels to put the items in. And we'll put some items in some pots and frames to show what's in the stall. And there we go. Another stall added to Drift's explorations and finds. And you know what? This stall is functional, but I also think it's cute. And it's got stock of everything that I found so far in those two new biomes that I discovered. We should get one of the parrots to look over the shop. All right, buddy, you're coming with me. Where are you going? No, come back. Uh, what are you doing? Why? No, go over there. Go over there. Why are you spinning? Just sit on top of the barrel. Ugh. There we go. Okay, Parrot is now our shopkeeper. Excellent. You know, I mentioned earlier that this place is starting to feel like home. And I really think that each day we're getting closer and closer to that. So it's been a couple days since I set up my shop. I've just been spending some time fishing with Block and exploring the lands. However, when I got back to the base the other day, I saw that this giant tower had popped up and it also looks like Block has been pretty busy at his base as well. We've all decided that this is a good place to live together, so I guess everybody's building more permanent homes now, which I should probably start doing soon as well. The tent is great and all, but I'm running out of room to store my things and something keeps eating my food at night. But before we do all that, I kind of need to sort out my armor. It's starting to fall apart. Now, going into caves really isn't my thing. They're dark, easy to get lost in, there's monsters hidden around every corner, and worst of all, they're wet and cold. And I don't like that. But at the same time, maybe this exploring that I did has made me a little bit more brave. Evil berry bushes. So I'm thinking maybe I should give cave exploration a shot. Who knows? Maybe I have a hidden talent for it. All right, here goes nothing. Ugh. That was on purpose. All right, time to be brave. Uh, nope, nope, nope. I do not like this. I do not like this. Whew. All right, I just need to find some iron and I'm good to go. Ugh, this cave is so musty and cold. And it's kind of freaking me out how narrow it's getting. Ooh. I take back what I said about the cave being narrow. This is far worse. Oh no, there's so many mobs. Uh, I have nowhere to go. Ow! Uh, oh no, I'm not cut out for this. Uh, help! Uh, oh! No! 
So going caving by myself was a disaster. I think I've learned my lesson from that experience. I think I'm gonna go ask Block to see if he has some spare armor he can give me because I lost everything back in that cave. Hey, a Block. Oh my, hello. How's it going? It's going well, how are you? Uh, pretty good. You're actually just the person I wanted to see though. Okay, why is that? Well, I had a little bit of a debacle in the caves. I don't think I'm really cut out for it. Y you died? Yeah, I lost everything, and I was wondering if you had anything you could spare that could help me out. Yeah, I got a bit of spare gear you can have. Why don't you take all this? <gasps> oh my gosh, thank you so much. You're very welcome. I mean, Whoa. if you ever need more armor or anything, you come back to me. Um, I do have one last request. I'm kind of starving right now. Do you have any spare food? I mean, I have been fishing like a crazy man, so uh, take some cod. Honestly, I'll take it. I mean, currently my diet right now is literally just berries and fish, so I probably don't like smell the best, but you know what? It's high in protein and it'll do. It's fine. <laughs> You've always been pretty stinky, it's fine. Yeah, it's true. Like, honestly, it's just like adding another layer at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are an onion. I truly am. Ow! Well, now that I have this gear, anytime you hit me, I'm protected. It's fine. Whoa, why is it that color? What is that? I mean, to learn about this, you have to go speak to Ryan in the tower over there to learn about some crazy magic that he's discovered. Okay, magic? Does it have anything to do with the ruin up there? I don't know, I just fish. So I noticed that sword that Blocky had was shiny, just like those weird bottles that I found in that buried treasure. I'm gonna go check out this tower that Ryan's built to see what's in it. Whoa, why is the floor making this noise? Lapis Lazuli. What is this? Maybe this book will have some answers, because I'm starting to get freaked out. Four obsidian, two diamonds, one book, feed Lapis. Surround with knowledge to unlock Ember Hollow secret. I was honestly expecting that to be a book of his favorite bedtime stories or something. Whatever this is, it's weird. All right, let's just put that back up there. There we go. What exactly is he up to in here? Okay, what actually is this? I've never seen anything like this in my life. This must be what the book downstairs was describing. Maybe this is how Blocky got his sword to glow like that. All right, it's said to feed it with lapis. Sweeping edge, bane of arthropods, knockback? Are these like spells or something like that? Uh, what's that noise? I should probably stop messing around with this. It seems like Ryan might be uncovering some secrets related to that rune we found. It's probably best that I leave that up to him though. I don't wanna mess anything up and cause a disaster. I am definitely not qualified for anything related to magic. So with everyone getting started on building bigger homes for themselves, I think it's time for me to get started on a more substantial home for myself too. Now I've got plenty of wood collected from my travels. However, I do need quite a bit of stone if I want to build something. And I'm not going back into those caves again. But I did notice that Mr. B has a big stockpile of stone and stuff like that. Cause he's been like resident caveman recently. So maybe I'll just take some of his and then pay him back when I can. All right, it's time for me to get to work on building a proper house. I've got myself more of a permanent house to live in. No more tent. Things have changed quite a lot in the village over the past while. Everyone else has built up more permanent homes as well. We've all been working really hard to help each other out and make this a nice place to live. It's pretty amazing what I was able to accomplish considering I have literally zero carpentry skills. I think I was just highly motivated because I'm honestly really over living in that tent. I did however decide to keep my stall as well as my wagon because I really like them and I figured they're still useful for keeping all the items I've been finding for the rest of the village. But they are, however, kind of unnecessary now because the bottom floor of my house is actually gonna serve multiple purposes. So since I plan on doing a ton of travel and exploration, I figured I needed a house that I could bring with me, hence the wheels. 
But in addition to that, I created a space that would have everything I need for my expeditions. I have a map wall of our base to detail the land around us, and of course decorated with some of the cool stuff I found on my journeys. And in the back over here, I have sort of an office space where I'll be doing all of my navigating and recording of my findings. And most importantly, I made sure to make a really comfy chair for me to sit in while I do all of this. For comfort, and mostly because I wanted to look kind of cool. And finally, at the front of the wagon, I have a spot to store all of the items that I found. Now, this part's kind of bare, which means it's time for me to go exploring again. So the bottom of the wagon is everything expedition related, and if we head up this ladder, this is my super awesome and cozy living quarters. And as you can see, I've got myself a nice balcony and a furnace area with a really nice view of the village. And if we step inside, I've got a nice little kitchen where I can cook myself some fish and berries. Although I probably should expand my recipe book now that I have the space. And the kitchen is equipped with tons of storage. We've got lots of chests and barrels and cute little decorations to make it feel a little bit more homey. And finally, the last room in here is the bedroom. And you know I had to splurge for a king size bed for maximum comfort. So I basically tried to make this room as cozy as possible. It's got lots of window light, a huge wardrobe, lots of art and decorations scattered around. And I put a cute little cartography area in the corner if I want to work on some stuff before bed. This is all definitely such a step up from the tent that I was living in, and I'm so happy that I finally have a really big cozy place to live in and store all of my stuff. Oh, and I forgot one last thing. So I have this ladder right here that goes up into the attic, and this is where I'll put all of my random stuff that I'll probably inevitably forget about. So now that my new house is done, I think it's time for me to kick back, relax, and maybe start planning my next expedition. Alright, so I took a couple days to settle into my new home and relax a bit. It's gotten me thinking about how a lot of us around here have been working so hard since we got here, and maybe we should all take some time to have some fun together. I noticed Block is busy working away outside, so I'm going to ask him if he's interested in setting up a fun activity with me for the rest of the village. Oh hey Block, it looks like you're working hard over here. Yeah, I've not stopped since I got here. Work, work, work. Honestly, same for me. I feel like we could all use a little bit of fun around here for once. Ooh, fun. Got any ideas of what we could do? Actually, I do. Back in Greyhaven, me and my friends used to have something called pig races. Have you ever heard of them? Oh, is that why you smell all the time? Sorry, did you say something? No, no, sounds, sounds, sounds really fun. Well, if you want to set up a track with me, we could send everybody in the village an invite on the notice board, and maybe we could set up a prize for them as well. Okay, that sounds fun. Let's do it. All right, with everybody on board for this, it looks like we are off to the races. Uh... The arrows. Oh, gosh. Oh, we're going. Oh, my gosh. This is so slow. I honestly thought <laughs> this would go Wait, faster. Are we allowed to hit yeah, each let's other? Go, baby. Why am I behind? What is this? Oh, here we go. Let's go. No, Wax, no! I'm ahead of the pack. Oh, I'm see good. ya, losers. I'm see ya. Oh, How did I fall behind? <laughs> oh, 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I won. No. Oh, 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 I'm almost there. Yes. Third. 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 Let's go. Woo. Thank you, Piggy. You did well. Thank you, Piggy. Whichever one. I don't actually remember you both look the same. I apologize. Yeah. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Yeah. Did you guys hear that? I think it came from Stubble's house. All right, they're all over there. Did guys, you hear that? What I'm was assuming that? that was. I'm assuming it was something to do with you, block down. No. How dare you? Where did it come uh, from? I think it maybe came. It, it sounded like it was near the house that me and Mr. Beaver and should we go have a look. Ryan, oh, down. what's on the Did side of your house? Someone? I went and got one. That was Big crazy. Whatever it was. Oh, hang on. What is this? Yeah, what is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You red stuff. It looks oh, slimy. Does it go Ooh. over here as well? Ew. Oh my God. It smells like burning over here too. What is this? What is that whoa. on the hill? Uh, now what did you do? Oh, no. oh, no. Blocky, oh, now it's your time to shine, buddy. Now they're attacking. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh! oh, there's so many. 
Where did they come from? <laughs> what is this thing? Did uh, we get them all? Oh, there's, there's, more. there's, there's, one, there's more. one more. There's one more. Get them. What? Is Whoa, what this? is this? This thing is crazy. It's a bit close to my house. That's what it is. It looks slimy and disgusting, like an infestation. I want to go into why it. I was just saying, this makes you question but why I didn't do magic. Danger comes out. You can't blame me for this. And this it's coming hard. from your tower. It's literally mm. coming from your tower. How no, can we not blame you for it? No, that's not related at all. That's something else. So the enchanting of your tools made this appear, huh? That's kind of sus. I don't want to point fingers, but I was up there the other day too, seeing what you had up there. And when I went near it, I heard a weird rumbling. So... Yeah, I was meaning to tell you about that. I heard it, I heard the rumbling when I was playing with it as well. Ugh, Me too. Sort of blocked down. You could have oh said no. that before I enchanted my pickaxe just now, because did we cause this? Well, giant poles didn't appear the last time we done it. I thought it was safe. Well, I we're stuck struggling. with this now, so what do we do with it? And what if more of those things come through as well? Maybe someone needs to guard it. You know, we should probably check it out and make sure it's safe on the inside. Oh, nope. I don't know about I don't know about going inside. Nope. No, 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 no. That seems dangerous. Guys, I really do feel like I can do this. I can, I can guard this. I can, whatever this is, nothing's gonna come out. I'll keep you guys safe. But uh, should, should I go in? Do we, do we, do we go in now? Uh, I don't think we should go in there yet. No, that's no. not a good idea. I don't think we're ready. Yeah, we should leave it for a while. We just need somebody to guard it then. Okay, I can do that. I can handle it. So with the sudden appearance of this mysterious portal, it looks like it might be time for me to be more brave and help the others navigate the unknown.